Okay, guys, um, today all I want to really go over is the application Skype. Now, I know all of you definitely have heard of this. If not, download it. Um, but what I'm going to say about this is how you can use Skype with CamTwist. Um, CamTwist, if you don't already know, is a little application that lets you add effects to the video that is being recorded or for example the video that is being broadcast over Skype and as well as adding effects you can add text and there's an option to preview your desktop on CamTwist so being able to broadcast your desktop is very useful for explanations over Skype over Skype video as well as just you know seeing what someone's got going on the desktop <laughs> but basically what I'm gonna do right now is show you how to work Skype and CamTwist together if you don't already know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open both of these applications and we're gonna modify the system preferences in both CamTwist and Skype. So there goes Skype. We're gonna hit command comma and there's only two tabs for preferences, very little. Oh anyway. Um hold on. Anyway I have this box unchecked. The box saying don't load the CamTwist driver unless the CamTwist application is running. That's unchecked because I want it to load the CamTwist driver. And also check don't load the CamTwist driver in these applications. That's the easiest one for me to explain. And these applications being the applications in this box which are none. So it's going to load for every application basically. Now in Skype, we're going to hit command comma again, and there's these tabs up here. You're going to select the video tab, and under camera, you're going to choose the option cam twist. So that's all well and dandy. Now, I'm going to show you, if you want a, um, another camera hooked up with cam twist, you can choose the camera down here as long as the cam camera's plugged in before cam twist opens and you can switch the camera up so that's pretty cool or you can preview your desktop um yeah which is a very nice feature for example here it's showing in the skype preferences this would be the video that would be broadcast over um, the air see the video it's showing it's showing real time of me moving this window which is you know just it it works <laughs> and so using this showing the desktop feature is very useful when trying to explain a problem or trying to explain a solution to a problem for example um so yeah just i recommend downloading those two programs and also, add me up on Skype, everything Macintosh, and, you know, you could, you could chat about, like, anything Mac-based that you would need help, or anything you would recommend for me to try, or do, or whatever, you know, anything at all. That's what me and this guy do almost every day as well as all these people down here a few people we talk about some Mac related stuff which is always fun so yeah peace I sight Final Cut Pro iMovie HD Motion The Flip Mino HD and of course the MacBook. Will I also run?
Never.